Alex, why do you think you guys are able to, you know, not only grab the lead but hold on against a very good team like Villanova? Yeah, I think um, definitely the competition we've played coming into this game definitely helped us prepare for that. And then um, just how coach pushed us through practices, those practices are hard, they're grueling, and um, they can be difficult, sometimes even harder than the game. So I think just the preparation that we have going into these big time games really helped us out tonight. You saw four steals in the second half. What was kind of your mentality coming in? Uh, my mentality was just wanting to be disruptive. Uh, just pick my team up with energy and defense, and I started on the defensive end. Coach said you're playing with the confidence, like a gunslinger's mentality. It just seems like your confidence has reached another level. Is that true? Um, I mean, I've always been confident in my game, but um, uh, it's just been hard work. I mean, just getting in the gym, that brings confidence. Uh, just working hard, uh, that, that, that's all you need to build your confidence. So. Did you feel, was there a certain, uh, like, you motivation for you to just keep shooting the way you did in the first half, even though it was going to be a little bit hard for you guys to get him inside? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm always looking, I'm always looking to uh, shoot open shots. Uh, my teammates do, do it, did a great job of getting me open tonight. Uh, so all credit to my teammates. Uh, it was hard for Adama to get the ball inside for Adama. Uh, they just had a great game, game plan for him. Uh, so we just killed him from the outside. Hassan, I've heard you describe as a New York, classic New York City guard. Is that is that a fair assessment of your, your style of play? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Uh, just, you know, a New York City guard just brings energy. You know I mean? He's played defense. And offensively, he's just looking to push the pace, you know, find his teammates, get them open shots, you know. When you have a team like this with this amount of firepower uh, inside and outside, you know, it makes my job easy. Alex, you had a couple big shots tonight. What was the crowd like? What was that? Oh, it was electric. Um, it's always fun to play in front of the UConn fans and UConn crowd. And um, for XL to be sold out tonight really gave us <clears throat> more energy and just really lifted us when we needed to go on a run and extend the lead. So the crowd was great, and it's always awesome. Jordan, do you, do you like the, the pressure that like, can come with being undefeated, target on your back, games um, during their A game against you all the time? Do you like that pressure? You guys thrive on that? Uh, I mean, of course, but we're UConn, so every team's going to bring their best for us. Uh, we always going to have a target on our back. Uh, just the history we have and just how we're so successful in the past. So we always we always knew we had that target on our back, So and we enjoy it. So, yeah. On the end, do you still have the chip on your shoulder because you weren't able to go high in the preseason polls and you weren't ranked and all that? I mean, of course, that's always in the back of our minds. Uh, we still have. I just feel like we still have more to prove. I said we haven't played a complete 40-minute game yet. And so I, I think we still have more to prove, and, and people are going to see what we, what we, what we have. Jordan Ellis, can you, can you touch on Hassan? Like, if you ever gone against him in practice, and then that dog that he yeah. talks about and Coach talks about, that was what pain he is to go against him. I mean, he gets me better uh, every day uh, with his defense. It's, it's, it's cruel and nothing easy. Um, so when we play Big East games like this, it's, it just feels like nothing. Uh, the way he competes and practice every day. So it's, it's great to have him on the team and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he does it every day in practice, as Jordan said. And um, for him to not always have to score and to make that big of an impact for us is like words can't say how much he means to our team. And um, yeah, he's just, he's, he's a dog, like you said. <laughs> Son, the second half, you were taken out and got a tremendous ovation. What's that mean to you that the fans recognize your style? Yeah, that felt amazing. You know, uh, that's just getting recognition for just playing hard. You know, playing my game, and you know, I mean, this this crowd is amazing. You know, UConn Nation is, is one of a kind. So, and we I appreciate that. We appreciate them and sold out crowd. You know, gives us just that a little bit of edge that we need. What kind of things are you barking out after your victories? I mean, turn to the crowd a lot. I was talking to my mom the whole time. My mom was at the game, uh, so I was just talking to her the whole time. I was looking at her, so, yeah. Probably like 20 bucks for like 20 pounds or something like that. Nah, nah. 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 Phil said don't answer, so I'm not going to do it. Alex, having watched Jordan last year and Play with him now. Uh, what have you seen from him, his development, the, the way he's elevated his game as a sophomore? 
Yeah, I mean, just for him to score the ball, obviously his scoring has increased, but I'd say like his mental approach towards the game, like he has a short-term memory compared to last year. I mean, he had difficult moments during his freshman year, and he can encounter those same moments going forward his sophomore year, but it's short-term for him. He's always shooting if he's open, and just um, and also his defense, his relentless defense has gotten a lot better from this from his freshman to sophomore year, him taking charges and um, standing up against the opponent's best player. So I'd definitely say those two things for him. Jordan, when you missed your first couple of shots, one of the was you to keep that confidence to keep shooting. Is that something you've always had, something you had to develop? Uh, I, I don't really care if I miss. Uh, so that's, that's, all I, that's, all I, that's all I think about. I don't really care if I miss. I know the next one's going in. And that's been my motto for like my whole life. Jordan, so. Did you get a little bloodied up early on? Did you take an elbow or something? Yeah, I got, I got a little elbow to the face. It was nothing serious. Yeah. There was yeah. a stretch where you guys had uh, like five turnovers, and then you would make you know a bucket after another after another, and just kept getting stops and kept converting those points. And it seemed like the energy was just building from that. Can you just speak to that stretch and how you guys like kind of take that energy and move on to the next play? Well. See all oh, y'all force the turnovers. Go ahead. I mean, yeah, the uh, coach always talks about the body blows, uh, body blows throughout the game. Uh, so we just kept them in body blows, body blows till we knock them out. So we just keep attacking them, keep pressuring them until uh, they can't take no more. So. Anything else, guys? Any other questions? Donkey. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>